Hello all, Dr. Fox back here with you with your weekend update. We have so much to cover today. Oh my goodness sakes, we have class trials and uh, I've been camping and farming lately in the game. Jeez, uh, tree riding mount, no official quite date yet, a pre-patch, brute fast, calendar, Warcraft 2 class changes, I mean Warcraft 2 movie rumors, glass changes, all kind. let's just get into this, shall we? <laughs> Dr. Fox back here with you with the weekend update. Why don't we just start right off there at some of our top tier pieces here we've got going on. Obviously, the most uh, biggest thing right now, pre-patch. What the? <laughs> Some would say. Okay, well, usually if it was this Tuesday, about the 29th, we would have most likely heard something by now. So maybe, I'm thinking October 6th, and here's why. Possibly because if they tie it in with, say, October and like Halloween and the Scourge and undead things and undead things, Mikey, dead things. Uh, so maybe there's this theme going to go on for October Halloween ish. Plus, they're obviously trying to get that extra time working in, so that would push that back until then. So, and the way that the pre patch will go for that week, and then you got that couple weeks of content, most likely. Even maybe closer to three weeks prior to launch. So we may see it around the 6th. Hopefully we'll hear something by the end of this week. So we'll keep you posted on the next weekend's update. Of course, others will already uh, talk about it immediately when it's announced. <laughs> As always. And with Prepatch, you can see here, uh, right on Blizzard's main app here, they we had gone over this prior. These are the level crunch numbers and how everything will be... Uh, crunch down, especially for those level 120 boost characters and 110 characters that people have been asking me about. Yeah, they're going to go, the 120s are going to uh, get pulled down to 50 like the other level crunch for the other characters at the same level. 110s though, here's an interesting little boost. 48, only two levels lower. So that's a nice change, especially when we used to have to grind out those last 10 levels was like, uh, especially in BFA, <laughs> I won't get into that. And what I kind of like here is they kind of break them down for you and kind of show you how, what level is going to become what level. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Again, this is, uh, the weekend update. We, we just touch on a lot of these aspects very, very briefly, just to give you an idea. Uh, as well, I'm just gonna kind of scan through this, uh, and then as you can see, it, it, it continues down as well. Uh, those will be able to enjoy that starting experience, the good old Exiles Rise that we've been talking uh, about, as well as other content creators. You can see the calendar at the bottom. We're down to our 29 days, nine hours, 45 minutes as of this recording. As well, the backslash new player chat will be automatically, any new players that come in will automatically be added to the newcomer chat channel, allowing you to find out about, get help an individual starting out at that aspect. There will also be available through there the individuals who become one of those uh, guide recruiters that we've been briefly talking about where you need these, the, these aspects filled so you can help new players. Let's just hope people don't get all pissy, attitude, short-tempered, selfish, greedy, angry at the system and get to and at people. Uh trying to give them advice. It really bugs me about how new people supposed to be veterans there that try to help out and they get so angry and pissy towards people and it's just a very toxic mess. Uh, in, in any individual uh, circumstance. Uh, time walking campaigns as well there. Th those are going to be switching around. We won't get into too much detail about that. We get a lot more of the recruit friend updates as well as reading up on that. The individual who gets recruited will get a 30-slot bag if I have read that correctly. Not the individual who gave the recruit a friend or maybe we both will get it if i i don't know. i thought i misread that and i i could be wrong i'll have to see if i can tidy up on those uh information appearance change services for the shadowlands uh, those are going to be retiring soon as well like so you don't have to pay the extra for the gender hair facial features and stuff you'll just have that right in the barbershop which is nice as well as the druid uh 
the 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 uh, where is it here? The druid change appearance is going to be the cosmetic changes will be free in there as well. While we're on that subject, Battle for Azeroth PvP season four ends, and the post season will be beginning. Of course, this is uh, very very common uh, earning. Flight and, of course, Warlords and Legion, for those that never had to really quite do it, they are in good shape for that. And then that kind of wraps things up for us. So, and were you able to get yours? Thankfully, I was able to finally get mine. That's all I wanted to say about that piece as well. Looks like, sadly, Asmogold didn't get his Calipedal, and I didn't either. <laughs> and uh, Hazel and Lenny, uh, we were on it. But uh, the Tree Riding Mount has been the winner out of that uh, voting system. Uh, it's all good. I, I was open for either one of those. It's fine. Uh, I, I think that would have been great. Uh, well, and just a, a quick side note uh, as well. This actually got fixed a couple months ago, and I don't remember if I've commented on it at this point. Bear with me. It cannot use your class trials to camp and farm pets and mounts and high-value items has been uh, blue-posted about a couple months ago. And I thought I remember mentioning that. I just happened to go out and try that. And sure enough, I'm like, wait a minute. I want to. I wanted to clarify that. So yeah, sure enough. And then I found the blue post. It was from a couple months ago. And I'm like, aha. So for any of those that were wondering about that, just be cautious. Uh, uh, there will be no bonus rolls in Shadowlands as well. Uh, some will be excited or not. We're moving BlizzCon online, a very uh, creative way to uh, integrate that name. Coming February 19th to 20th, 2021. And of course, right now going on, we have the Brewfest as well. The heirloom upgrades and beta are looking pretty good. Uh, Shadow, uh, let's see. Uh, Shadow, uh, um, uh, the, uh, sorry, I'm going over this. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then we also had the, uh, of course, uh, good old uh, Mike and Amy Morhan, they the co-founders of Blizzard that has, have left and started their own company, Dreamhaven. Secret Door, Moonshot, and it's uh, the headquarters is going to be there in Irving, uh, he, uh, the Irving, California as well. And yeah, you just heard that uh, <laughs> one of my uh, update. I I I didn't turn the volume down for, for. I have a character sitting here open on my other screen to show my calendar uh, as well, and I didn't realize that went off right as we're in the middle of it. So, but those that know my channel know that this real time is, is the fun of creating these, uh, great little weekend updates as well. So with that said, we also have a possibility. We know how rumors can turn out. Sometimes everything fizzles out and nothing happens from it, or it gets scrapped or all kinds of other aspects. With that said, though, possibly, possible, 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 with lots of stars there, could be a Warcraft 2 movie. We might see them continue that second story, similar to Warcraft 2, the original Warcraft 2 game, uh, at least with a younger thrall and then a possibly older one around 3, which would be similar to the uh, Warcraft 3 storyline. Uh, and then they may see if they continue that saga similar to like uh, the Matrix and Avatar and Star Wars. We may see a Lynch King uh, aspect out on the other end of that, which is kind of neat. Because if you kind of look at it that way, Lynch could sort of be the metaphorical Darth Vader, if you will, of the Blizzards franchise for, for that aspect. If you kind of look at it that way, it all depends on how you look at things. It's just uh, from an artistic point, it's kind of an interesting uh, take on that. And I'd be curious to hear what your folks take is as well. Uh, w and uh, with that, uh, I have been uh, busy be, uh, going through my lucid nightmare. I am up to the urn, the one of the last big long steps that takes the few hours. But that beginning part was quite a little chunk of time too. Click clicking the little colors. That one wasn't too bad for me. It was just it was just monotonous, having to run through that dungeon. And it's been a few dungeons there, taking me a good little chunk of time last night. Definitely want to put aside a good few hours one day, maybe the next. It's hard to do it in a full day. Some do, and many have. But for me, I needed to uh, uh, to pull back from that. I was worried, though, if I didn't do it all at once. But I guess as you do each scroll, it does. Because usually any of these 
long hidden riddles that you work through uh, have a little uh, something you can type down into there that will give you like a listing and tell you yes, no, or true or false and tell you how far you are so you'll know uh, if you come back to it later. I just can't think of my words. That's what made me stop and find it. Bear with me. That's part of my brain injury. So, uh, kind of with that said, I've also been working on my mage, trying to tidy up. I'm so, so excited. We finally popped on tailoring all the way. I have every tailoring maxed out on that uh, wonderful little uh, mage of mine. So, I'm very, very excited. That that was a big jump this weekend as well. That Legion was the one that took the longest because I was out there trying to farm the two and the three stars just to get the green, get one of the, the recipes to just turn green so that I could actually try to finish it. Uh, that was the challenge. And then we were able to finally make a couple of the bags. Uh, that needed a lot of materials, but we that popped us to 100 finally. We were so close, because the greens got me up to about 96 out of 100 in Legion. So... Uh, let's see, with that said, uh, I've been working on a few things, a lot of things offline. I'm slowly trying to pack the house. That is a whole other discussion for a different day. We won't get into that right now, so I'm hoping if all goes to plan here, the uh, continued weekend updates, uh, it might look slightly different, but hopefully we'll still be uh, reporting about all this good stuff as we go. So with that said, let's shift gears into... I love my, love my, love my calendar time. <laughs> calendar time. Here we go. Call of, call to arms, uh, Deep Wind Gorge. That'll be ending this week. PvP Brawl, War Song scra Scramble begins this week. <clears throat> ah, back to the good old Time Walking Dungeon as well. With that, because there was another uh, discussion of that during pre-patch. As well. The uh, Pet Battle bonus, if you haven't got in your last few minutes. Oh, and that's... I was... Uh, gearing a ton of my pets i decided to finally burn through all my sad shiny tokens and i got almost all my all my pets now level 10 and then the rest of them are all 25 and then there's still a small chunk of them that are sixes so i didn't i ran out i literally burned all the way down to one i was bumming because i really wanted to save over a thousand a grand of those to be able to start picking up pets in Shadowlands. But that comes with a different discussion. Uh, of course, uh, any dungeons you ran, the unlocks will come again on Tuesday as always. Harvest Festival, that begins this week. That always uh, overlaps uh, with our Brewfest. We'll get one more week of Brewfest. And then next week is the uh, first of the month with the good old Dark Moon Fair. We have the No More Guard. Once again, No Trans Left Behind. We'll be running that non-for-profit race next Saturday over on Nastajar. Uh, yes, yep, starting at the starting line. And uh, uh, as we get closer, we'll get into the time frames for that as well. So uh, with that, we're going to kind of wrap things up. Remember to take uh, two more goodies that you might want to try to pick up prior to Peep Patch. Call me in the morning, and then once again, please have a wonderful, safe week, and we will see you later.